Hello and welcome to InServe. In the last videos, we created a channel called Brian's Channel. We walked through how to sign up and create a Google account, Gmail account, and a YouTube channel account. In this video, we will walk through step-by-step -step how to set up your channel. So are you ready? Let's go. Hello and welcome to InServe, how to create a channel series. The last two videos we released were basic how to sign up to Google and get a Gmail account so you can access YouTube and create your own channel. So we've moved on from there. If you were with us and did follow the last videos, we created a channel called Brian's Channel. That's what we ended up creating. Setup basics is all we've done. So now we're going to take it just that little bit step further and we're going to show you how to set up and general setup tools of that channel and settings that um, will make your channel sing a little bit better for you. So let's just get straight into it. So we're coming down to the Brian's channel that we created. This is your home screen. This is where you would uh, create content, click to uh, upload your videos, etc., which we will do in a, in a moment now. Going back to where we were, if we just click back and we've got two um, options at the top here on our brand new channel called Brian's channel. Now the two options are is customize channel and manage videos. Well, we can't go and manage videos because at the moment we haven't got any videos loaded up. So we can customize channel. That's what we will walk through at the moment. We'll take it a step by step. So we'll go to customize channel settings if you have a look here and follow me step by step to customize your channel. So we will come back to adding a uh, channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed. Once we've uploaded some content, we'll do that very soon and uh, feature videos for returning subscribers. We will do them settings in the minute, but right now, we are going to go to branding, which we have already uploaded an image and you select a uh, image from your computer to load up uh, for your picture. And the same thing for your banner. And if you follow us, well, we've done the same thing for the banner. Now, with this video trademark, we'll come back to this soon. I do have a, uh, uh, image library on Enserb where you can get this little uh, image. I'll show you what it does soon, but first we need to upload some content as well. But let's just go to the next section here, which is basic info on this section. This is your channel name here. It's the first thing at the top under the basic info. I'll go back up the top here. You've got layout, branding, and basic information. So in your basic information, you've got the name of the channel. If you change that, it will show you that here under the Brian's channel name at the heading. That's where it will change for Brian's channel. So again, choose a name that's suited to your content. If you, you like cats, if you like cars, or, or it's just your own personal channel, then you can call it Brian's channel, I guess. Well, not Brian's channel, but your channel. So this here is your handle. It's just what you are giving uh, because of your Gmail login that you created, and it's what YouTube give you. Um, if you click on the question, it says handles are a way for you to find and connect with creators on YouTube. Handles are unique and short channel identifiers distinct from channel names. Um, and they start with at symbol, for example, at YouTube creators. So that's just um, something that YouTube give you. Pronouns, uh, we will get into that a bit later on, but right now, what I want you to have a look at is this is the description of your page. If you have a look, that's what we put in when we created the channel for those that did follow it. So here you'll find the best information about cars. Now I need to emphasize this, that this is very important. If we come back to our main uh, screen here. It's the first thing you see here. It's here you'll find the best information about cars. So that's the first thing you see. So it's very important, you know, you don't want to sit there and go, oh, hello and welcome to my channel, blah, blah, blah. Because by the time you finish that sentence, it's not going to be within view. And of course it's a link so people can kick, click on it and have a look as well. But uh, we are going to add some links in a minute. If we go back to our customized channel settings, select it there, or we've got a tab open at the top. So I'm just gonna click back to here. So here you'll find the best information about cars. I might change that. I'm gonna change that to here. 
Okay, so I've just updated uh, the description on the page because I'm, I'm going to walk through this. We're going to create and build this channel together in a series. So here you will find Brian's channel where we have made this channel together with viewers and subscribers. So look, up the top right hand, you've got publish. Anytime you make a change, make sure you click publish. So you've published it. Now, if we go back to our, our page and refresh it, it says here you'll find Brian's channel where we have made this channel together. So you can see that there at the top, it's a link form, but you've got about a sentence where here you'll find Brian's channel where we have made this channel together. Don't forget to subscribe to Brian's channel that we're creating, guys. Okay, don't forget, I'll put the link below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to Brian's channel that we're all creating here. So that's your description there. Now, with this link, it's linking. As soon as I go near it, it's going to link and it's going to show you this description here. But what I want to show you now, if we go to a customized channel again, we go to, to basic information. Now, down here, it has a right at the bottom here, above your contact info, which I suggest that you put your email address in that you would like people to contact you at. I've put nserve303 at Gmail, because that's the Gmail account that I created, the Google account I created to get into YouTube to create this channel. So that's the email address I'm using, so I've put that there. I could easily put inquiries at nserve. You just simply change it, and when you've, you've changed it, you would just click public at the top. So I will change it to. Okay, now I'll change it. See the publish at the top? So I'll publish that. But now adding a link here, for example, if you want a donate button, you can add a link here and you would call it a donation. Donate to enter or donate to Brian's channel. Okay, but we're not going to do that and can show you in another video how to create a donate button by signing up to PayPal and creating a donate button and then you would put your link in this description but right now I'm going to link to a website so I'm going to put nserve products because I have a website and we will go HTTPS don't forget to put all this stuff in wherever your website is and I could just leave it straight back. I can put two links. So the first one will be direct link to, to my website. So don't forget up in the top right hand corner, we're gonna publish that. Now after we've published that, let's just add another link as well. All right, so we'll call it nserve products, which is gonna be linking to the exact same website, but just a different web page. So I've got the HTML at the end, products.html, and you can uh, click on the bin if it's wrong to get rid of it. So I've created this link now up the top right hand, we will publish that. So now I have two links. What I would like to show you as well in this link section, you've got the equals and equals below this, the links here. You can see the just below this links here, if you grab them, you can swap them around. Now enter products are at the top, and if I lift it up, insert products at the bottom uh, I will just change it to insert website there I've made a little boo-boo okay so I'm going to republish that because I've made some changes so now we go back to our home page and refresh that because I just clicked into the tab now straight away above here after you see your description here you will find Brian's channel where we have made this channel together with viewers and if you wanted to click more you click more and it will show you the full description up here uh, but the same thing you can click directly on this link which will take you directly to the website which is nserve website by the way please check in sign up to nserve so and then next to it you got and one more link so if, if viewers click on that blue area link it'll take you straight to whatever you link to whether it's your donation whether it's your website or whether it's your facebook or any social media link you can put in there and one more link if you click on the one more link it opens up this now here are the two links that we created back there on that page which is nserve website and nserve products so they're both my website pages and if we click on them, we would go straight to them pages automatically. If we clicked on them, we go straight to the pages automatically. So let me get out of here. We go back. 
So we'll go back into customize channel from here where we were. I'm opening up two new tabs. Okay, so that was basic info page. Anything else down here, you've got your email right down the bottom, contact email. We've added two links here, that's how you make links. This here is your channel URL. You would copy and paste that for anyone to find your channel or for them to subscribe. So this is, this is your channel URL, you would call that. And again, we've covered the description here. Now we will go back to our layout. So we haven't got any videos yet, so let's go back and create some videos. So let's go back to our page here, and we've got to create content here. So what we're going to do is click on the create content, and now it's asking us to upload some videos. So I have got some videos prepared, ready. So I'm gonna upload a video. I'll drop it straight in. All you do is just drag it from the computer and drop it straight in. We call it Brian's video. So this is Brian's first video. We will label that. Now in this description, we will tell people exactly what the video is about, but at the moment we're just doing a basic how to upload content. I will do another video later to show you how to set ultimate settings and how to set the correct settings for uploading videos so they get views and so you know what to select. But right now we're just gonna do a basic upload. So it's this is Brian's first video with viewers. Okay, so you can see it's starting to upload it now. So and you put if you had a link on the page to a product you want to promote, you would put it down on here. But this is just basic so we can get a have a look. Now it's asking us to upload a thumbnail. Okay, so we're now going to upload a thumbnail. You need to verify. You might have to do a phone and a text message sign-in to get thumbnails before you can upload thumbnails. When you go to click on it, it will be self-explanatory. But right now, we're going to upload a thumbnail for Brian's video, and we're gonna call it Brian's first video. Okay, so we've uploaded that. You can select your playlist here. There are other options to do. We're gonna walk through that in another video, but right now we're just gonna upload some basic content. Definitely check here. It's either yes, it's made for kids, or no, it's not made for kids. There is serious penalties if you click the wrong thing and click that, uh, yes, it's made for kids and show content that's adult, for example, or vice versa say that no it's not made for kids and then show kids content that attracts kids to adult content so there is penalty supply there so make sure you select that it either is for kids or it isn't for kids so this obviously isn't for kids is it a paid promotion uh, we will walk through all this in great detail in the next video to come but uh, right now altered content uh, to any of the following describe your content which you know makes a person appear to say or do something they have to do which is if you're using artificial ai you need to then check that bottle bottom but right now what i'm uploading is uh, just my content uh, i click them off i'll tell you about that why later when we will go through all this publish to sus subscribers i don't want to publish this to subscribers at the moment because if you've got people who are interested in certain topics and you're publishing this to them they're going to unsubscribe from you pretty quick so then you've got a category here i'm just going to put it to a how-to style or this is entertainment actually the video that i have uploaded so look there's your basic settings we will go through this in greater detail i will make a video on all these settings in great detail but i just want to get some content up here so i've clicked next now and you can add an end screen or add a card i don't want to do that at the moment i'll talk about that later there's done copyright checks here and there is no copyright checks and if there is a copyright check if you put some music in there it may well be allowed but the owners of that music will run adverts on your channel and you will not be able to monetize it so this is a copyright check then we click next to do this now we come to a, a section here where we got private unlisted or public your choice to publish your your video if you publish it to private only you and people you choose can watch your video so someone you've sent the link to unlisted is anyone with the video link can watch your video so i like to upload it unlisted so it's not publicized upload it while it's unlisted it takes a little bit of time for the you know if you're in high definition for it to process and all that um you might want to have a look at it and then change it but then you can go public at any time or 
right here you can actually when you put it unlisted you can uh, schedule it here to schedule to come on at a certain time whatever date you would like it to come on and it will come on on that time but we're going to publish this this sucker so that's what we're going to do hit that publish it now we, we know we, what we've got so we're going to publish it now to Brian's channel got other options here I'll close this now and now we have a video popping up in our content okay so if we go back now to our channel which is you can click in the top right hand and go back to your channel we go to videos now and we have video in our video selection okay so that's how you upload a video let's do that one again okay let's just do that one again we're back to our home screen so what we're going to do now, we're going to upload another video. So up in the top right hand corner under create and then upload a video. You will do that. It's asking you to upload a video. So we're going to go now and upload Brian's second video if I can find it. I've just dropped it in there. So it's drag and drop. Okay, so we're going to um, just drag and drop the video into Brian's section. which we have it happening now, Brian's video 1B. So I'm gonna change the title to it, and I'm gonna call it Brian's second. So we call it Brian's second video. We have uploaded this together. So I put a description in there again saying that this is Brian's channel second video that we've uploaded together. I'm not going to put too much of a description in there because this is just an example. Again, I will make a video. It will be in the next following series how to set all these settings up the best. But right now we just want to get a channel set up and I just want to show you how to add some content on your channel. So now it, you, you can upload a file again if you have verified your channel, with, if, if not, if you click on it, it will ask you to verify with a um, text message or an email code. It will ask you to do that. And then you can upload thumbnails. So we are going to upload Brian Video 2 thumbnail, which I prepared earlier. Again, we're not going to go through all this. I just want to make sure it's checked. No, it's not made for kids. Is it restrictable? No, don't restrict it. I mean, you can put it, change that there to restrict your video. Again, I will create another video, tutoring video, to walk you through this step by step. It's not paid promotion. Uh, it doesn't uh, contain anyone that's false. And I always like to uncheck these because it's gone horribly wrong before, as I expressed. And I do not want to publish to my subscribers at the moment. Now we will just go next. We can add cards here again. I will create a, a next video to talk all about these settings. So we've done a, a copyright issue, no issues found. So we're gonna click next again. And now again, as I said before, you got the choice to make it private, unlisted or public this. If you, you do it unlisted, then you can adjust it um, later. No one will see it unless you've provided them with the link. So we'll go public and uh, we'll publish the second video to this channel. We don't want it to go to Facebook or anything like that, so I'll just close that. Now I've got two contents, video and video one. Now if we go back to our channel again by clicking on the right hand side and your channel. Okay, now we've got two videos, video and video two. So let's just do it one more time to give Brian's channel a little bit more content. We are going to upload a video again. So that is in the top right hand corner up there, create a video, upload the video. They are gonna be asking you to upload it. I'm going to upload the third video I have prepared. We'll call it Brian's video three, which is already written there. I'll just try and put a little bit of a uh, correction there. So this is Okay, so I've uh, put a little bit of a description there. Please subscribe to Brian's channel that we've created. I'm going to upload a, a thumbnail again. Um, you will have that option again once you have verified your channel. 
it will otherwise you will not be allowed to upload thumbnails it will just generate it by itself so now I'm going to upload Brian's video three thumbnail I just want to check make sure that I've checked it it's no it's not made for kids I don't want to send it to my viewers and subscribers published to sus subscriptions um, because this is just a sample I will again create a video to run through all these settings I always turn these off I will explain why and um, what all these things mean but right now we're just adding up content so to create content for this channel so I'll click next again I'll go through these add cards later no issues found so the copyright check has been done we click next and we again we either make it private so only you and people can use and watch your video by themselves or unlisted anyone with the link can watch your video but we're going to go public with this again like I said you can schedule here if you click on that button to schedule a time but we're not going to do that we are going to keep it public and just go straight with it okay so it's, it does say here look before you publish check the following do kids appear in this video okay you have to check um, back there if kids do make sure you follow the policies to protect minors from harm exploration so make sure you just read through this you click publish once you've read it and you're happy with it so now if you don't want to publish to your social media you can just close that out and now we've got three videos so now if we click in the right hand side and go back to our channel which is Brian's channel that we have created it might not show up straight away you need to refresh the page a few times there's our videos because we've gone to the video section on our home page now we've got home and videos so we've got videos that we've created all right so now I can go back and show you about customizing this channel so now we've got content if we go back and customize this channel section down in the branding section here now I do have this available on mserve so you've got a little if you can see that little subscribe that little red um, image down the bottom here you can change or remove it you can run it for the end of the video only or customize the start or, or in the, the entire video so what this is it's a little icon that appears on your videos where people can click on them and subscribe now I do have this image for download on uh, nserve in the library on nserve to do that you have to sign into the members area on nserve.com.au so look I'll just show you what this actually does so if we go to the videos and we click on a video let's go to the last video that we've done you can see in the bottom right hand corner there well, that's where that little red image has appeared there and if we put our hands over it it says subscribe okay um, I've got very low quality here for some reason the image is, is low quality okay so that's what that little red button does if we get out of that video again so that is in your branding area and again this image that, that is there I do have on nserve in the library uh, you just sign into nserve and you can right click on that image and, and and upload it all you do is click on change here and then upload an image to it and then obviously don't forget to publish it okay so that's your branding your picture your banner image that we covered in the last videos and also now we covered your watermark so now we've got layout here if we come back into the layout for you uh, featured section there's one for you so it will recommend videos for you uh, you've got another one down here below your videos we've got says we've got four but we we have three only you can click here to uh, remove this section this whole section and again like the links when I showed you uh, basic information where we created links how we can move them links and change the position when we come back to the page layout you can put your short videos above your videos but normally this is what you need to do and uh, you can remove that section but that's the section with all your videos in so when you do go to your home page like I have here you can see Brian's videos you can see all your content on, on your home page as well um, so we have no live content we haven't done a live stream okay so this is again how we upload videos now that we have content 
if we go from this Brian's channel and go to customize channel again if we click on there it keeps opening up a new tab so now we can come up to your channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed so now you just click add and I will ask you to, do you want to add what from where or and you can upload it I'm gonna use an existing video and then also for returning subscribers so that is a channel trader for people who haven't subscribed so when they first come to your channel and then you got a, a one for returning subscribers you, you can have the same video if you'd like to put up there myself I'm gonna change it so I will don't forget to click publish up the top right hand after you've created your trailers for your channel now if we go back to our channel and we refresh it I refresh the screen and then we go back to home. Hello you 7791 people, how are you? Just want to check our trailer. So we still got our video section if you needed to come here and find it. But when people come to this channel now, they will see um, Hello you 7000 a video that you've just put up. So this is how it is, this is how you set up your channel. Okay, this is how you create content and set up your channel. So we've come a long way with Brian's channel. Uh, look, may I ask you guys to subscribe to Brian's channel? I will put the link below to Brian's channel. Okay, so please subscribe to Brian's channel. And uh, I hope that this has been informative. I hope you have learned something. Please like and subscribe. Definitely hit that thumbs up button. And I hope you're following these tutorials, the step-by-step -step as we're releasing them to help you create your own channel. We will be releasing a lot more videos soon and some videos to show you how to fine-tune them settings when you're publishing videos, etc. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for your time. Until the next video, we'll see you. Thank you. Peace and may God bless.